my name's Ali and welcome to the Little Baby Bum Story Corner. I'm having a little bit of a topsy-turvy day today. What that means is that nothing is going quite to plan. Never mind, let's crack on with today's story. At least I've managed to set up the Baby Story Corner just as it normally is. What's that? Have I done something wrong? Oh dear, will you help me fix it? What is not quite right in my baby story corner? Have a look and tell me. <sighs> oh dear, it's the picture of the flowers upside down. I think it is. Let's turn that the right way up. There we go. Oh, Twinkle is facing the wrong way. Well, we better fix that. We don't want Twinkle to miss today's story, do we? Which reminds me, today's story is all about a family who are having a little bit of a topsy-turvy day. Today's story is called Baby Bath Time. It was Daddy's turn to bath Max. Max loved it when Daddy bathed him because they always had a lot of fun. Daddy put Max into the bath. Max was splashing away, enjoying himself. Daddy grabbed the soap and washed Max, but Max splashed the water and Daddy's soap fell out of his hand and landed on the floor. Oh dear, Max thought it was very funny. He was having a lovely time. He splashed his Daddy and Daddy got very wet. Daddy didn't mind, but then he went over to get the soap and slipped on it. Oh dear, his glasses fell off and landed in the water. Max thought it would be funny if he put Daddy's glasses on. Daddy couldn't see very well without his glasses on. He managed to creep over to the bath and managed to get to Max and start to wash him again. But oh dear, Daddy had forgotten to do something. Can you see what Daddy's forgotten to do? Daddy has forgotten to switch the tap off. What do you think might happen if Daddy doesn't switch the tap off? That's right, the bath might overflow. Oh dear, let's hope Daddy remembers. Daddy continued to wash Max. He thought it would be funny to tickle his toes with some soap. <laughs> Max giggled. But the bath was getting fuller. Max gave his glasses back to Daddy and he started to play with his boat. Daddy looked at the boat. But then he noticed that the bath was overflowing and the boat went over the bath. Max thought it was so funny. Daddy slipped on the bath. Oh dear. Daddy crawled and managed to switch the tap off just in time. Oh dear. Never mind. Nothing else could surely go wrong. But just then the bubble bath fell into the water and the whole bath filled with water. Oh dear, Daddy managed to find the sponge just in time and washed Max's face. Max was finally clean and had a good giggle at himself. Giggling's fun, isn't it? But when things go wrong, we can still giggle. Some people have very loud giggles. They giggle like this. <laughs> Some people have very quiet giggles. <laughs> <laughs> and some people have silent giggles. <laughs> what kind of giggle do you have? Why don't you giggle now? And you can see whether you giggle loudly, quietly, or even silently. It's good to giggle. Well, finally Max was clean and Daddy could get Max out and wrap him in a lovely, snuggly warm towel. He popped Max down, but just then, Daddy slipped over on the water and fell into the bath. <laughs> Mummy came in and saw what a mess everything was. She was glad that Max was clean, but Daddy was in the bath. Oh dear, what a topsy-turvy day they'd had. Never mind, it's still good to giggle, isn't it? I bet you've got some funny stories of when things haven't quite gone right. <laughs> Why don't you tell funny stories to each other and have a good giggle at them? See whether you giggle loudly, quietly or silently. <laughs> it's been great to spend time with you today. Thank you for coming to the Little Baby Bum Story Corner 
and we hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.